Fabric, needle and thread, tools of the textile trade. In the early days of the Boeing Airplane Company, those tools and the women who mastered the art of the stitch were among the fabric of aviation history. In Seattle, on the drafty second floor of what would become the Red Barn, the seamstresses formed a tight-knit sewing circle. Their nimble fingers worked large sewing needles and thick thread through the coarse linen wing fabric. The crisscrossed stitches had to be tight and had to be perfect for the wings to perform in flight. Perfection, making a biplane better than any other, the William Boeing way. In the middle of the change-filled progressive era, women of all ages and ethnicities were fighting for a voice in politics and entering the workforce. In 1916, William Boeing personally hired the company's first female employee, seamstress Rosie Farrar. Within two years, seamstresses, female drafters, and bookkeepers would make up a quarter of the Boeing Airplane Company's workforce. They are the early pioneers, laying the fabric of the Boeing Company and clearing the way for others to follow.